Hey folks, it is a Saturday, but it's not a salsa Saturday particularly. It is a, uh, a peanut dip Saturday. <laughs> Little Red's peanut dip. And this is their uh, cilantro jalapeno flavored. This is interesting. Uh, I have not tasted it yet. And I'm really wanting to try it. I ran into the owner of Little Red's Peanut Dip. He was giving out samples at Whole Foods uh, last week, and uh, we got to talking. And I, I picked this. I, you know, bought a jar, and uh, told him I'd do a review. And it's really cool because uh, his, his name was Mike, and originally he's from Florida, and he moved to San Antonio. This company's out of San Antonio, and. He couldn't find boiled peanuts anywhere because I guess boiled peanuts are really big in Florida. So he started a company making boiled peanuts in San Antonio. And uh, it, it took off, did really well. But he said that people weren't familiar with boiled peanuts in the area. So they kept thinking, you know, it kind of tasted like a, like a, like a bean, like, like a, a pinto bean or something like that. So he got this idea to create a dip using the boiled peanuts kind of like a like a, a, a hummus kind of a, a thing where you would like serve it with chips and you know like a like like a dip and he came up with a few different flavors and I thought this would would be good the cilantro jalapeno to test out and he was actually using I did not know taco deli has their own tortilla chips now so I picked up some taco deli tortilla chips at Whole Foods and uh, he said this is also available, it's available at Whole Foods, but it's also available at, uh, I guess, Rouse's in Louisiana. Anyway, let me read the ingredients here. Of course, it contains peanuts. Ingredients, water, peanuts, jalapenos, lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, peanut oil, white vinegar, garlic powder, onion powder, sea salt, cilantro, cumin, white pepper, and olive oil. And I'll put a link in the description box below for their website. It's littleredsboiledpeanuts.com. So, well, let's give this a taste. I actually refrigerated this because I, you know, I was thinking it'd be like, like hummus, so I wanted it to be kind of be chilled. I'm glad it did because when I, uh, I checked it before I put it in the refrigerator last night, and it was kind of it was kind of loose, and uh, that makes sense because it is kind of uh, you know it's a peanut dip. So I did refrigerate it overnight, and it does have a, a really nice, nice texture, nice consistency now. Really good dip texture there. It smells good. I can smell the the uh, garlic. Give it a taste. Mmm, I need another bite of that. Okay, yep, the owner was right. That is like, because he said people, when he started making this, people thought it tasted like a bean dip. I agree, it tastes like a bean dip. That is really good. Really, really can taste the 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 tartness of the the lemon juice uh great flavor really like that texture yeah i really like this this is really good peanut dip they have two different flavors they have a uh, another one that's like a lemon he said that one's more like hummus and then there's another one with a i think it's a roasted red pepper so i might have to try that one as well but boy i gotta say this is not spicy at all. Uh, I mean, there's you can you can you can kind of tell that there's some jalapeno in there. The cilantro is way back there. Uh, predominant flavor is the the lemon juice, and uh, I I I really like it. I like that texture. I have another one of this. This is really good. Oh yeah, two thumbs up for this. You got a winner here, Mike. Now I need to try your uh, boiled peanuts. Well, there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching. <laughs>